heavyweight tournament between Tyson Fury, Anthony Joshua, Deontay Wilder and Alexander Usyk. Mm. Uh, two semi semifinals, yeah. one night, December, probably Saudi Arabia. Yeah. Uh, in your opinion, is, there a, is this a real thing? Is this could even happen? And if this happens, what should we expect? Absolutely. I think they're in negotiations. You know, I think that all parties have said now openly okay. that these conversations have been going on. They want to make it in Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia are bidding, bidding for all the big fights. And how spectacular would that be over the last few years? You know, the fights that we've meant to have got with like Tyson Fury versus Anthony Joshua, it didn't happen. You know, Anthony Joshua, you know, and all these big fights that haven't happened for one reason or another and have fallen through. You know, and um, Tyson Fury more recently with Alexander Usyk because of the politics of the sport and it's not been good because the heavyweight division is the pinnacle of sport not just the pinnacle of boxing you know everyone knows the heavyweight champ and right now we don't know who's number one if we can get this over the line and I know these conversations are happening this is real and if this does happen it's going to be something magical could you imagine having a semi-final and a final with Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury versus Alexander Usyk, winner boxes winner. Probably back in, probably in the spring, probably back there in April or something. But could you imagine that on one bill? You know, after the disappointment that, that not just us, the boxing media, have had, but the boxing fans. You know, could you imagine that? That would be something magical. And it could be a reality. You know, these conversations are happening. It's not just rumor. The conversations are happening. Okay, in your eyes, who has the best chances of winning the whole thing, wow. if, if, if it happens? Yeah, well, listen, you've got to go with Tyson Fury because he's the number one heavyweight out there right now, you know, and he's proved that. Alexander Usyk is a guy that's come up like, you know, if you mentioned previous cruiserweights that have been a success at the heavyweights, you know, look at Advander Holyfield and what he achieved, that amazing trilogy he had with Riddick Bow, you know, will go down in history, but he become a heavyweight great. You know, David Hay done it against Valuev, you know, he proved that, you know, because speed works against the bigger guys. So Alexander Usyk really, although he's beaten Anthony Joshua a couple of times, We still don't know how good he is. There still could be more to go. And he'll need more against Tyson Fury, who's got the height, he's got the height, you know, and he's got the size, but he's also got the boxing IQ. So that'll be a really interesting fight. Anthony Joshua, he's at this stage at the moment where maybe he's got psychological damage. He didn't look particularly good against Jermaine Franklin. He's teamed up now with David James out in America, in Dallas. He's trying to reinstall that confidence that was once there. If he can find that rawness that was once there, puts him right back in the mix. And Deontay Wilder, come off that, um, you know, come off them defeats, that trilogy, that amazing trilogy he had with Tyson Fury. And he come back with Robert Hellenius and he showed that he's still got that, you know, that rawness and that fire and that, and that, that killer instincts. And he went out there and blew Hellenius away, who's a good fighter. So again, it's just one of those ones. You just don't know that all of them could win it. You know, it's one of those, but I love the fights that are made for the semifinals. Joshua versus Wilder is explosive that's good you know that's going to be over quick one way or the other mm -hmm. and I think with Tyson Fury Alexander Usyk that's more of a chess match that's more of a game of who can work who out and you know so they're fascinating fights both of them but I love the semi-finals them two pairing off like that that is going to be something special please God we get it after you know the disappointment we've had over the last probably three years you know fights not happening that we've wanted to see Yo,